Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In previous tutorial, we understand what is React and also we installed React in our system, right? So in this tutorial, we will create our first React application and also I will walk you through React project directory structure, okay? So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> So to create a react project, you must need to install create-react-app. So this create react app will set up everything you need to run a react application. So in previous tutorial, we already installed this. So let's quickly create a brand new react application. Okay. So let me go to the terminal. Then the go to the project directory or the folder structure where you want to keep your react project. So I will just go to the desktop then java Tiki code i already created a folder called react right so i'll just go inside that react then here i need to create my first react application so to create your first react application you can use create hyphen react hyphen app then give the project name okay so for now i will give react first app something like that you can give any name. This is just the name I gave for first demo. Okay. React hyphen first hyphen app. Just enter it. It will take few seconds to create your first React project. Yeah, so if you observe, it created our first React application and there is a steps to execute npm start to start your React application and then npm run build, npm test, npm run eject. There is couple of command. So we suggest that you begin by typing. Go to that particular project directory, cd, then react fast app. This is where the project name we created. Then just start npm start. Okay, so I will directly go through the Visual Studio. If you remember in last time we just installed Visual Studio, so I will just open it. I will just open the Visual Studio. This is the ID for developing the front end application. You can use any other ID, but this is the more handy and flexible to write the code for front end. Okay. Now here, once it will open, I will just add the or I will just import my project. So click on file, then you can choose the open folder just click on that then just go to the directory where you just created the project desktop java Techie code then react i will open this react first application okay click on open it will take few seconds yeah so the application is imported now you can go to the terminal you can open the new terminal then since we are already in that particular directory you can start here npm start okay you can also use yarn dot start since we already installed the yarn but for now i will go with npm just enter it it will take few seconds to start your first react application you can see here it started on default port 3000 and now you can see the page is loaded here right this is what the home page of our first react application and now here if you will observe it says edit src slash app.js and save to reload okay it means it's already suggesting what you need to do next go inside src hyphen app.js file so if you go to the visual studio go inside src and app.js okay so in react this app is nothing a component this app.js is a component okay so there is two type of component in react class component and function component so this is the example of function component i will cover the component type of component and how to create class component and function component in my upcoming tutorial but for now the default project will create with the function component okay now here you do change something and that will reflect on your front end page so i will just change here welcome to java techie something like that and here if you want you can change the 
URL. I will just give my URL. Let's say HTTPS. I will give www.youtube.com slash javatiki. Fine. Let me save this. Just do command S. It will auto compile and it will auto reload the changes. Now go to the browser. You can see here. Welcome to javatiki and the link will redirect to my channel now. That's fine, right? Now let's understand how this page is getting loaded or how the flow is going on in React. Okay, so let me go to the Visual Studio code. So let me minimize this. Now if you observe, we just did the changes on app.js file, right? Which is nothing, the component in React. Now we need to tell to the React this is what my component you just load it when you are starting the application right so for that there is a file called index.js which is nothing you can consider as a registration file okay in this index.js you need to register your component so that react can understand okay this is what the component and i need to execute this piece of logic so go inside this index.js so if you will go and check in index.js we are telling index.js load this component which is nothing app okay and you can see here import app from dot app that is what the component we are importing here and we are telling to react dom render this particular component okay now since this index.js file is one javascript file right and we need to tell some html file to display this content so for that reason there is a syntax called document dot get element by id now the entry point of this react web application is available inside public index.html and if you observe in this index.html we have the div with the id root okay and with this id we are trying to load the content from index.js that is what we just specify document.getElementById now let's say for demo purpose i will change it to the root one okay now if i will just save it command s now if I will go to the browser, you don't display any content because if you observe here, I just telling this index.html to load root 1 but the div id which I specified inside this index.html is root. Okay, so that's the reason. The id is mismatch here, so it don't load anything. Now if I will change it to root 1, let me save it and go to the browser. Now it's loading again, right? So here the flow is very simple. The component which is nothing app.js that component we need to register inside the index.js. Okay. So you can consider this index.js as a registration file of your react application. Now this index.js content need to be loaded by some HTML right to render that page. So that is where the index.html which you can consider as a entry point of your web application that will load and there you need to specify this particular id and the same id you need to specify in your index.js while writing this document.getElementById okay so this is what the simple and straight flow now let's understand each folder of this particular project let's begin with the first folder which is node modules okay so this folder contains all the dependencies and sub dependencies of packages used by the current react application okay now if you will go next there is a folder called public and this public index.html is there which is entry point of our react web app and there is something called favicon dot icon which is nothing the logo of react and there is something called logo 512192 these are the react logo guys and then again there is something manifest.json this is something which we need to use while developing the mobile application so this is not our scope to discuss for now let's ignore it okay now if you go inside src this particular src where you need to write the component of your react so there is you can see app.css where you can write all the css uh, related stuff and app.js which is nothing the component of my react and then app.test.js where i can write the test cases and there is something called index.css again you can define the root css structure here okay and then again index.js which is nothing as i mentioned this is the place where you need to register your component and then again there is something called logo.svg again i believe this is something 
react logo and then set up test.js this is also for test case writing the test case and all and report with vital.js i'm not very sure for now but i i believe this is also related to the mobile app development okay now there is two file you can see package.json and package log json okay now this package.json if you will open this package.json it just display the name of your application and the version and all the list of dependencies and their corresponding version also apart from that it contains the script with that script you can run the react application so in short this file contains all the dependencies or you can say all the metadata associated with the project as well as the it store the list of dependency packages okay so you, this file you can consider similar like pom.xml the way we are writing in java right in maven project this is something same you just define the dependency name and its corresponding version and also the script to run the react application okay now there is another folder called package-log.json this file usually generate if you have installed yarn and according to npm documentation this package-log.json is automatically generated for any operations where npm modifies either the node module tree or the package.json okay so if there is any change on this node module tree or this package.json this particular file will be generated so i hope I, I am able to explain all the project directory each and every folder. Let me know in comment section if you have any doubts. In my next tutorial, I will explain type of component and then I will guide you how to create the class level component and function component in React. Okay. That's all about this particular video guys. Thanks for watching this video. Meet you soon with a new concept.